Sandra Dame is 70 years old from Tecumseh, Ontario. She is the eldest of six children. During her childhood, she was very active. Every day, she would play with the neighborhood kids until dark. They would ride bikes and play games like baseball. Sandra's parents didn't have a car, so they walked everywhere they needed to be. This is another way that Sandra stayed active as a child. Randy Dame is 71 years old from Tecumseh, Ontario. He is the eldest of four children. Randy has lived on a farm his entire life, and this has helped him stay physically active. Most of his physical activity when he was a kid came from doing chores. On his childhood farm, they had a lot of animals, so he got his physical activity in by doing things like cleaning out pig pens. When Randy started high school, his physical activity levels increased as he played on the school football, basketball, and track teams. There was no organized sports outside of school available to either Sandra or Randy when they were growing up until they reached high school. Randy and Sandra got married in 1967, and the following year they started to grow their family. They have four children, three daughters, and a son. Having children changed how much physical activity they were getting. They lived on a farm, which was a big change for Sandra, but nothing new for Randy. The farm became the way both of them got their physical activity. In addition to this, they didn't have a lot of money, so they had a large garden that they ate out of. This helped keep the whole family active. While raising their children, they did not play any sports or get their physical activity through an organized program. As they described, they were busy chasing the kids around and driving them to their sports and activities. Their kids were heavily involved in organized sports, playing travel hockey, baseball, and basketball. When their kids moved out, the ways in which they got their physical activity changed once again. They still had the farm and kept busy with that, but they started using more machines to help them complete their daily chores. They did still get physical activity through farming in ways such as baling hay and straw, and they also delivered a lot of eggs to local restaurants and stores, however, not as much as they had in previous years. Now that the kids were no longer living at home, they started doing some of the things that they enjoy in order to be physically active. Sandra was in a bowling league, and Randy would go hunting with his friends. Now, Randy and Sandra are both retired. They sold their cattle farm, but still live on the land. As a result, they get significantly less physical activity in a day. In the winter, they walk at the mall for an hour every morning. They said that they like to do this in the morning so that any hour after can be happy hour as they enjoy their afternoon drink. In the summer, they let their walking slide a little bit as they are more active in their yard. Post-retirement, they have started gardening a bit more again and they will take their dog, Abby, for walks around the property. Sandra no longer bowls and aside from walking, gets her physical activity through daily activities around the house. Randy still goes hunting with his friends from time to time, but isn't nearly as physically active. Since their retirement, they have been traveling a lot more. They drive to most of the places that they travel, but they do walk a lot when they're touring a new area. Sandra's barrier to exercise is pain. She has pain in her knees, back, and hips. She dreads going for their hour walks in the morning because she's in pain the entire time, but she pushes through anyway to get the exercise. Randy claims his barrier to exercise is just that he's become lazy as he's aged. When asked to consider the differences between generations when it comes to physical activity, both Randy and Sandra noted the many opportunities kids have when it comes to being involved in an organized sport. Sandra added that the only way her and her siblings played a sport is if there were enough neighborhood kids around to play a game, or if they were in gym class. They also commented on how young they started working compared to today's generation of teenagers. Randy and Sandra didn't have as much time to be involved in organized sports once they were nearing young adulthood as they were expected to work. When asked to define successful aging, Randy and Sandra both agreed that having their health was very important to them. They are grateful to still be able to go and travel as they age and that they can still garden and take care of their own yard and housework. Randy and Sandra were also very adamant that as they age, their family is the best thing going for them. They are grateful and proud of how close their family is and how, how well everyone gets along. They recognize that this is not the case for many families and feel that aging successfully, seeing their family together and having a good time is extremely important. Randy and Sandra both admit that there are some kinks in the road when asked if they are aging successfully, but they say that they are very happy and don't worry too much about the little issues that come up along the aging process. They both feel that they are aging successfully.